Hey, thanks for watching Tuscan TV. And today we're gonna to do a Target and I think a vintage store find. I, have, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to some of those today, but we're gonna to try to get out there. So let's load it on up and let's head on out. Let's go. All right, so today we're gonna to head to Target. We're gonna to go to Target and I believe they have like the Star Wars out, Outpost or the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Outpost over there. And it's an Edmund Oklahoma and that's about eh, 20 30 minutes away from where I live and we're gonna drive over there and see what they have so let's go all right so we're at the Target and I found some pretty cool looking mask I'm gonna show these to you they have a child mask which is three bucks that's pretty cool and they have Darth Vader mask, which is three bucks too. That's like a hard plastic, so that's a, actually a pretty good mask. That'd look cool as a decor, like on your wall. And then they have a sweet Batman mask from Justice League. And that looked cool on your wall too, like if you just had the cow stuck on your wall. I mean, look awesome. And this is their little outpost area. And they did have some of these cool, you know, R2 unit designer droids those are pretty neat um so it's kind of basic it's just white and it's got a whole pack of like stickers and whatnot you can put on it you know design your own so that's pretty cool um then they had some these are actually really neat you can be a, you know your own jedi or padawan it comes with you know kyber crystal that you put into the lightsaber so that's pretty cool it's the first time i've seen that so that's neat and i think i mean is it not really 9.99 it's 9.99 that's a pretty good deal and then here's the other lightsabers they have the larger ones some of those are just like repackages of stuff um but you can tell I like the older series stuff but and then the tons of the Funko, the CB6B, M5, R3, and those are pretty cool. And then the new Lego set from the Outpost, the Resistance Outpost. Now on the other side, they had some TIE Pilot helmets and then some of the Rebel Alliance t-shirts. Those are pretty neat. And, oh. They're super soft too. So those are neat, neat shirts. All then over here at the Transformers we have the lead foot, he's there. Oh, there's a whole stack of lead foots. So, Target exclusive lead foot, except on the shelves. Then they had Skipjack, so that's pretty cool. Skipjack, Sky Warp and Thundercracker, of course Scavenger, it's right there. And then they had the Skylinks. Someone's hiding that one. He's sitting right there. A couple of Batman thing. And Batman action figures. But then, once again, strikes again. A Ghostbusters figures. The Peg Warmers. Plasma series. Here we are checking out the Hot Wheels. Pretty low on the Hot Wheels. I don't see anything new on this. Definitely pretty low on the Hot Wheels cultural and Fast and Furious stuff. They have some of these packs though, the trailer packs, the team sports and stuff like that. Have some of those. Nothing new on the Monster Jam stuff. I actually like this design a lot. Nothing new though. All right, so here we go, some of these Harry Potter minifigs, and I'm gonna try to find the ones that were missing.
So that's some cool new Funko that's out right now. And they had dun, 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 the zombie Deadpool. Check it. Zombie Deadpool. Pretty sweet. Dumbledore. Baby Harry. So, so cute. Scar. You see the little scar? He's a little scar on his head. Pretty cool. Oh, they got the maid, the maid from Haunted yeah, Mansion. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick that one up. Didn't even see that one. Oh, snap. Alexandra. Nitro cough. Oh, man. And of course, they have the Haunted Mansion minis. Yep, Alexandra, Alexander Nitro Cough. <laughs> We're searching for Haunted Mansion and we found a few. That's the maid. And I know we got a few of them here. Leopard. Yeah. Cute. Rick Allen <laughs> with his missing arm. Miss Yvonne from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh, Fancy tattoo. Allen. The plane, the plane. I love tattoo actually. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's some more home mansion there. Oh goodness. Some of these stocked up pretty um deep in here. Runaways? I've never heard of that. X-Men Rogue. That's that Marvel show. Yeah. That's in Marvel. And there's Alexander. Alexander of Nitrokov. Mm. They're hidden. Gabby Gabby back there. Um, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Some TV show on Netflix or something. Mr. Rourke. Mm-hmm. Fantasy Island. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a picture of that one at all. <laughs> there he is. Bam. Billy Madison. Oh, here's another Def Leppard. Yeah, Joe Elliott. <laughs> I thought those were funny, though. Yeah, no, the Mandalorian. Who's excited to see the Mandalorian? Show hits again October 30th. Disney Plus. Wonder Woman. Fallout. These have been there forever. The Ghostbusters, the action vinyls, those are pretty cool. I got a few it of those. Is, it's, yeah, it's I know. On the lipstick. Yeah. Oh my it's gosh. It's crazy, right? I That's love cool. it. Yeah, so as you can tell, there's quite a bit of cool new Funko here. Like the CB, 6B, the Maid, Haunted Mansion stuff. That Alexander uh, Nitro Cough, which I picked up that one. Yeah, there's Constance Hatchaway right there. Pretty cool. Of course, here's some of the other stuff they have, like the Predator stuff. Oh, there's the Alien. He's pretty neat. They have some of the new Alien versus Predator figures and Godzilla stuff. And then they have like the Friday the 13th, Did you this one, King Kong, Annabelle. Oh, no, I don't think so. so cool inside. Warning, possibly yeah, do not open. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really, really neat. cool. The faces on it are pretty cool. Yes, and she comes in her like case Glass and case. everything. <laughs> so cool. Here's but King Kong. Scared. Old school King Kong. He looks crazy. I like it though. It's cool. Good stuff. Some old stuff, but found some good stuff today. So here's the outpost section. Uh, another section. Had a little. Oh, cool! Child watch is pretty cool. That is pretty neat. Of course, they had like the Mandalorian mask and some of the Mission Fleet micro stuff. Um, hardly. Any, I mean, all the old black series stuff is hanging up here. Peg warmers, of course, like the Ray and First Order Trooper. They have some child, though, some of the child, and then any child, you know, little hard figure. Oh, Darth Maul. Maul. That's me. That one's actually pretty cool. I haven't seen that one yet. Might get this for Ben. And they have the deluxe child doll and the plushie and this cute guy I have him but kind of sad 
Yeah, they've changed the packages on those. Mm -hmm. From the black and red to the new yes. white one. But that, that's about it. Not a whole lot. All right, as you can tell, the mask does wonders for my mustache. <laughs> But now we're heading over to Vintage Stock and we're going to see, um, what we see what we see. See if we can find any uh, Marvel Legends pieces we're looking for. Well, not really me. Not we're, looking me. For, <laughs> we're looking for my son. So that's what we're going to try to find. It's it's a quest. We're on a quest for Scarlet Witch. A quest for fun. A quest for fun, yeah. So. I saw two okay, here's the Vintage Stock we're going into. And this is the Labor Day uh weekend sell so it's like look there's a sign it says uh buy two get one free so we're gonna check it out yeah. i was gonna say special shout out to tiffany for the haunted mansion mask uh she picked it up for me and thanks all right so here's some, some of the uh, funko pops they have sandy claws and then check it out, the genie from the creep show. That's pretty rad. And they have Scarecrow. And of course, the Haunted Mansion. And you saw that I just uh, picked this one up at the Target. But those are actually really cool. I like those. I'm gonna go with my Haunted Mansion collection I have. But here, let's check the back of these. So look, you, got the, you can get the creep, the genie, Scarecrow. I mean, those are pretty cool. I would love to get the creep. Those are cool ones. Let's see. There's some of the other fun code they have here. Oh, there's SpongeBob, a, you know, SpongeBob movie. There's Patrick Star. There's my boy Duke Kaboom. He's on sell. Clearance stuff. Let's see. There you go, right here. Buy two, get one free on the pops. So that's actually not a bad deal. And there's some of the uh, the remix. Music. Man, they're gonna copyright strike me with this uh, Whitney Houston playing. But there's Roz, Eve, and Sully in the um, remix. So those are cool. All right, so here's some of the uh, they're used, like little mini figures and stuff like that. And look at this, look what we just found. Wreck It Ralph, Penelope, and it's like two ninety nine pretty cool and they have a whole bunch of different ones they have beauty and the beast they have the princesses uh, they have aladdin that, that's actually cute too and oh looks like a little lion king so that's pretty cool a lot of different mixtures of stuff there's some mcdonald's toys but i'm on the lookout for marvel legend stuff so I'm gonna see if we can find any of that stuff. Any like little packs or the or the um, weapons. Get some of those weapons and stuff. So that's what I'm on the lookout for. All right, so they got some other cool stuff. Here's their other cell. They have blind boxes, buy one, get one free. And of course they had um, some Ghostbusters. They had some Aladdin here. They have Wonder Woman, uh, Avengers there, Mad Max, Thor Ragnarok. These are kind of old sets, but if you needed to pick up one, those are cool ones to pick up. And they have the 33% off collectibles, um, including the Godzilla stuff. So those are pretty cool. That's not too bad, 33% off, all pre-owned. Those are marked new, so that's the catch. See, it says new and it's all pre-owned. So, and of course, the peg warmers again, Ghostbusters and tons and tons of old black series figures that no one is even gonna buy, even for the $9.99. Why would you? You can get half these for $5 at Five Below. I mean, they still have Rogue One action figures here. They do have a huge child used. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know the head bobbled that big. That's actually pretty rad. Here are some of their fun codes, not very many. Yeah, 
and then your Hot Wheels, which the Hot Wheels are always overpriced at this store. And it's at vintage stock, they're always insane price. And stuff behind the glass counter, which some of the stuff you're wondering, why is it even behind a glass counter? I don't know. I like that guy. You can find tons of him. War Machine. It's not like it's priceless or anything. I don't understand that one, but. <laughs> so we picked up a couple of posters over at the vintage stock, and I got the um, Return of the Jedi, Army of Darkness, and Back to the Future, so that was pretty cool. And then so we came over here to the Hobby Lobby and uh, I found these cool guys. I've never seen them before. It's the Garbage Pail Green Lights. And this one's called Traveling Travis and it's got the Garbage Pail thing on top of it, but it comes with a sticker. And then they have Unaware Aaron uh, with a Garbage Pail Taxi Company. So those are kind of funny. But this is Hobby Lobby. And this is the die cast section. No chasers or anything, but they have quite a bit of stuff. Bam, so hit another target. I can take the thing off the Found some Astro Max. Okay. There's a black and orange with a clear top. He's got like little his little jet packs on the side. And there's a red one. These are from the Galaxy's Edge outpost. Kind of like the droid factory. I used to make these all the time. Going to um Disney World, making them at Downtown Disney or at Hollywood Studios. And of course, they have like the BB units, which those are okay. I'm not a big fan of the BB units, but they have different types here. So that was neat to find those. So cool. I might pick those up. Oh, and then they have these. Like what you build at the parks. This one's red and black. That's the BB unit. So it's pretty cool with the hyperdrive. So, oh, actually, this is like a remote control BB unit. Hyperdrive. It's pretty cool. I ordered some of the CB, six Bs, and a child, and a Mandalorian, um, M5R3, and a resistance transport. But then, look at that. That's cool. A Jawa and a astromech droid. Like a tiki mug. It's pretty sweet. Comes from the Star Wars stuff they have. They have a at at driver, or an AT AT driver there. Let's see what else they have. Oh, it's got Luke Skywalker. And a Yoda. And then they have some more child. The child. Luke Skywalker's pretty cool. It's the best in the Skywalker. It's pretty neat. I've seen those before, but not at this store. He's really cool. So here's some micro machines. I did come over here and I found uh, one of these Chase micro machines. So it says it's a rare one. I don't know. I might get that just so I can trade somebody something for it. So I might pick it up. It's four ninety nine. It's one of the starter packs. Then they have like the uh, multi pack, which is nine ninety nine. I'm not really into these micro machines. They're kind of like. I don't know, just cheesy looking compared to the, the old style, but there's a chase. So, might end up getting that one. We'll see. Check out the Monster Jam stuff I found. They have the Super Mario Brothers monster truck. He's pretty cool. They had Bowser. He's pretty neat. That casting's pretty cool. Then I had a Yoshi down here. Just saw this. Here's Yoshi. I believe that's a Roger Dodger casting with the Yoshi on it. So that's something new. I haven't seen those before. Here we are at Vintage Stock again. And 
There was like 25 cent toys out front, like McDonald's toys, miscellaneous bowl junk. Some stuff will be good, but you gotta dig for it. Get the dig to find those treasures. Like, see, the hamburger. Ah! <laughs> Let me see. I may find something. Scooby Doo. All right. So they have all kinds of stuff in grab bags here. There's the penguin there from Mary Poppins. Prince Aurora. Uh, Princess Aurora. It's pretty cool. Got all kinds of cool stuff. These are Galactic Heroes. Kinds of neat stuff. Mm -hmm. Bianca from Rescuers. O'Malley from Aristocats. Buzz Lightyear. Toy Story. The Croft found. Da -da -da. Buy a rabbit. I'm gonna get that. Also, they had the Big Mad Wolf. It's cool. So we'll put those up. And we also found Transformers. Which is pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna get that too. There's a uh, Pluto Vinylmation, so it's cool. Then there's one of the lobster Vinylmations. Nothing great, but hey, Vinylmations. Okay, so they're playing some bullcrap music up in here. But I've got some of the clone troopers. Pick those bad boys up. Sweet. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again today. And you know what? Hit that notification button, hit that subscribe button, and like this video if you enjoy it. And we're gonna keep making more videos like this with uh, some cool stuff in it. You know, we're gonna go, it's just building day to day to day. And we're just, you know, working on it and seeing how it works and how everything else progresses through this whole a YouTube thing. So this is an adventure for me and why don't you follow me on my adventure? So hey, subscribe and like and uh, we'll keep on doing it. So let's get to our first finds that we picked up at Target. So that first Target we went to, I found some really cool things. I found the Haunted Mansion Funko Pops that I was really interested in and this is what I got today. I picked up the maid. That's right, I picked up the Haunted Mansion maid and she is rad. Check it out. So there's three of them. This is uh, 803, 804, and 802. And this one's, of course, 802. And it's a Haunted Mansion made. So that's a very, it's very uh, authentic to the parks. You know, it's very much like, uh, looks like a cast member at the park. So that's a very cool one. I really love that one. And then I got Constant Hatchaway. If you know that, she is from uh, the stretching room. And that was a cool find. I love that one. And I um, also got Alexander Nitrokoff. And he is awesome too. Uh, he actually stands on a barrel in the stretching room. And uh, I wanted to give a special shout out to my friend Matt, who actually picked me up one of the uh, organ players from the actual Disney World parks. So thank you, Matt. I really do appreciate that. I need to get back with you about that one. So thank you very much. So that was like some of the cool things we found in the Funko Pop area at the Target. And then I also picked up you can't, I can't get enough of these. I really can't. And these are like my favorite things to collect the Star Wars. And I always used to go to Disney World and collect. Well, not collect, actually build. You used to be able to go to Disney World and build your own uh, droid. And it was like the uh, droid factory. You can get that at like Hollywood Studios and also at Downtown Disney. So it was really cool to be able to get Galaxy's Edge Trading Post uh, Astromech. So check it out. And that's a purple one. And if, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a drink cart on top. So there's a drink cart on top. And it's a purple and white and uh, silver Astro Mac droid. And that was a really cool one. So I picked that one up. And these were $9.99. And I got an, another Astro Mac droid. And this one is black. Sorry about the glare there. It's actually black and orange. And it has like rockets on it. Like little rocket packs on it. Kind of like R2-D2 used in the prequels. That's what he has. So that's pretty cool. Those are actually pretty cool items to get and oh I forgot 
you know, I actually didn't like the Micro Machines, uh, the new ones that came out, but I did find this one. I picked it up, and that was the uh, Chase, and that was a, the Chrome Chase Micro Machines. So I picked that one up, and I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that one or if that's going to be like, you know, if that's going to be like a seller that I sell or trade to somebody for something I actually want. So I haven't decided on that one yet, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's $4.99, right? So a Chase, I can't leave those sitting there, so I picked up a Chase. So that was pretty cool. And if you notice, we later on, we went to a couple of vintage stocks. And vintage stocks around here, they sell all kinds of things. Uh, uh, it's like a resale shop for toys, movies, Blu-rays, DVDs, all that stuff. So I don't know if you have one in your area, but we do in Oklahoma. And uh, I actually went to, I think we went to two of them today, two or three. And I picked up some really cool items. Um, I picked up some posters. Bam. There it is, maybe. So I picked up some posters. Uh, we picked up Return of the Jedi, Back to the Future, and My Favorite Army of Darkness with Ash. If you're gonna shop smart, shop as smart. And so I had to pick that one up. It was a very good find. And then the Harry Potter Legos that I kind of just rummaged through. And here is the opening. Let's check them out. I like, um, what's his face too? Oh, the Phoenix, no one. he's actually really cool. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's my favorite, man. That sword looks yeah, awesome. Yeah, he has a map. That's the only one we don't have one. Mm. You failed! It was a fail! I didn't fail. This is mine, too. I did pretty good. Don't go for it. That's what I got, because I thought he was so cool with his phoenix. That's really cool. I like that yeah. briefcase. That was cute. Back from the opening. And did you see all the stuff that we picked up? We got some really good Lego figures. Uh, I think I got one dupe. If not a dupe, I think I made a mistake because I didn't, uh, the twins, I didn't fill one of them right, but I like to fill them all and, and pick the ones I want. So I got all of them today. We actually went back out and picked up a couple more. But then after that, yes, after that, went out to another vintage store and I actually picked up <clears throat> some crazy deals. These were all 33% off. And I picked up a ton of clone troopers. Uh, I say a ton. Let's say four. <laughs> Is that a ton? So I got four clone troopers. These are about, uh, I think they're like a dollar thirty-five or a dollar twenty-five. Uh, because they were $1.99. And so I think a dollar uh thirty-three, dollar thirty-three with thirty-three percent off. So Bought those for $1.33. You can never have too many clones. So got the clone troopers. Uh, all of these are pretty awesome. Then I picked up a couple of uh, recent stuff. So this is like some Rogue One stuff. And uh, I think Rogue One. And possibly uh, Force Awakens maybe figures. And these were basically $1.33. So these are pretty cool. Those are cool little finds to get. I mean, I actually have some shadow boxes back there. Put those in little shadow boxes. So you take these out, put them in shadow boxes or display them. They make really cool decor. So I picked up some of those for $1.33. And then uh, I got a Transformer. Paid 60 cents, 60 cents, 66 cents for this uh, over, overload. I think it's overload. I can't remember. Or overhaul? I can't remember which one these are. There's so many of them. But I picked that one up. And... Uh, He's going to look pretty cool. I like the little figures. I don't know about you guys. I like the little figures. I like big figures, but the little figures are cool. So I picked that one up. Um, and then one of my best finds that I got out there today was Bear Rabbit from Splash Mountain. And this little guy is stinking hard to find anywhere. And I knew I saw some uh, Disney Classics figures. And this would have been like Blue from McDonald's. I'm going to open this one. Because, I mean, it's a 100-year of Walt Disney. And bam, I picked them up for a dollar and 33 cents. I have actually seen this thing sell for 75 bucks lately on the bay, the eBay. Because they're getting rid of this ride and all the merchandise is disappearing. And that was a pl uh, pretty good find. And uh, I like it. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, so that's what I did today. Had a great time. Oh, did you see? Look, this is the shirt. We've got Gu Guinevere 
Put that on today. Bam. That's a cool shirt. Wore that out. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, I had on, I probably threw a shout out in there to Tiffany about the Haunted Mansion mask. And that mask is awesome. And I also have a, uh, another mask. And this is my um, Black Panther mask. I'm a big Black Panther fan. And I got that mask. She picked it up for me. Tiffany picked it up for me a couple weeks back. And I love this mask. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, they actually have large, extra large masks at Disney. Before the masks were so small, I couldn't. Even, they would fit like this. They were like real tiny. <laughs> but these actually fit. So they have a large, extra large mask. And I am a big headed individual. individual and <laughs> masks are hard to find. And the Disney large, extra large all fit. So they got Haunted Mansion. I picked, I got that one. And I got uh, Star Wars. And I got the Black Panther. So just going to let you know, they do sell larger sizes now at the Disney store or the Disney outlet or Disney land or Disney world store, you know, whatever store they have there, they actually sell the larger size and you could possibly get them online. I'm not sure, but. Oh yeah. So one thing I totally forgot about, I'm doing this with the handheld because I already dismounted this thing from my stand. I found for $2.99 little racket Ralph guys. Can you believe that $2.99? Little Wreck It Ralph dudes. I mean, those are so sweet. It's got Penelope, Wreck It Ralph, and I can't remember the other two characters. Can't remember at all. But I picked it up at Vintage Stock, and I just love these dudes. Wreck It Ralph. I love Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph is actually my favorite character from Disney of all time. I love this character. I fell in love in, with Disney characters all over again when this movie came out, so. Yes, a score. That's what we did today on this, hol on this uh, holiday weekend. Went out to a few stores and I got to rummage through some cool things. What did you rummage through? Did you guys get any good sales? Find any good toys out there? Did you get see any of the He-Man, any of the new Star Wars? Star Wars is still pretty slim. There's a lot of uh, collectors in this area and the stuff is gone as soon as it hits the shelves. So I'm having a tough time finding the new stuff, but I'm having a great time going on the hunt and having a challenge of the hunt. So, um, you know, you guys keep doing your best out there. And always remember, treat people well, do good things. Peace out. Hey, and I was going to let you guys also know that this entire video was shot with the iPhone Pro Max. And I actually used Filmatic Pro for some of the stuff that we did outside. And the stuff that I'm shooting right now with this whole thing set up right here with the lights and all that setup, this is actually just the native app on the phone and I'm just using it as a selfie so it's got a lot of good features on this phone so just in case you guys are wondering uh, what I'm using right now it's an iPhone so if you enjoyed this video hey hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn on notifications for future videos to come see you guys later